I'm Officer Chris Miller of the Bedford Police Department, currently assigned to the Traffic Division. I've been employed here for 20 years. The Traffic Division is a support service role to the Patrol Division. Our goal is to take the vehicle crashes that occur away from patrol so that they don't have to respond to those. Uh, if we're not working crashes throughout the day, uh, our secondary responsibility is traffic enforcement. One of our focuses is to create a safe driving environment through our city because we don't want people to get hurt, we don't want people to get killed in crashes. And if we can have a strong commitment to traffic enforcement, we hope that we can change people's driving behavior through that. And that's gonna result in a safer environment for everybody. All of us on the unit getting to ride a motorcycle, uh, we feel like it's the best job in law enforcement. It's definitely hot in the summer and it's cold in the winter and it's no fun to ride in the rain. You have to have a passion for it. And if you don't have that passion, the heat will take a toll on you, the winters will take a toll on you, and it's just not for you, and that's fine. Uh, but those of us that have that passion, we thoroughly enjoy it. So I'm the uh, motorcycle instructor for our agency. I enjoy teaching and, and teaching people a skill that they may not know that they have. Some of the best motorcycle officers in the, in the state and the country have had zero riding experience when they come into the motorcycle unit. Um, and then some of them have been riding for years. The standard training is two weeks long uh, and it's grueling. What we require them to do is ride the motorcycle to its limitations. Whether that's emergency braking, evasive maneuvers, you have to know what the capabilities of the motorcycle are and be willing to go there at a moment's notice. Bedford's a unique community. You know, this is where people live, this is where people raise their children, but we're surrounded by a major metropolitan city. And there's hundreds of thousands of people that come in and out of our city daily. And it's our job to be out there in the community, to get to know our community, to work with our community, and deal with those problems that come here to Bedford. It's not necessarily Bedford problems, but they're problems that end up in Bedford. And to have the support of the community is sometimes unique. There's lots of examples of bad communities out there and bad police community relations, and Bedford's not one of those. Uh, we have an unwavering support from our community, and I think that's a big reason that's kept me here.